we definitely wanted to invest in order to uh, not for, for once not just try the technology in a lab but bring it to life and bring it to the field to people realizing basically uh, what it, what we now call an open lab for 5g in the city so we participated to the beauty contest that the Ministry of Economic De uh, Development uh, uh, opened uh, a year and a half ago uh, and uh, when we won Milan among uh, the three cities we were very happy because Milan was giving us the opportunity to deliver, test and develop new applications across all sectors. We're working with 38 partners uh, and we're developing 41 use cases plus actually, we're almost close to 50, investing 90 million uh, euro uh, to achieve uh, not only the development of the services but also uh, plus 80% of the population coverage in order to have that theater to work on. When we started, we decided to kick off all the 41 uh, use cases uh, working table at the same time. So we basically, with a very small team, um, I organized the, by, the team by sector. So every sector would uh, deliver and manage uh, a dedicated number, selected number of use cases in parallel. But it's, we're talking about plus uh, more than 250 people. So bringing them uh, on board, uh, delivering on committed uh, roadmap, uh, it's it's been quite a journey, but one thing was uh, in common to uh, all the partners that was really to um, the curiosity, the interest uh, to understand what 5G would bring not only to their own business, but to society in general. So uh, we had the hospital, we have hospitals uh, uh, in uh, the partnership. We have manuf big manufacturing uh, um, industry companies. Uh, we have uh, uh, universities, uh, robotics uh, institute of technologies. Uh, we have uh, um, police, uh, uh, local police, but each of them was uh, driven not only by us uh, doing our job but also by um, the, the in genuine interest in understanding how things will be changed by 5G. When we got ready enough, so with things that could be understood, communicated and touched with uh, proper uh, hands, we actually did the multiple events in the streets. So we we basically conquer uh, squared in Milan and we brought robots and solutions in the middle of uh, where people was walking for their Saturday afternoon. And we got people from uh, kids from 10 years old up to uh, elderly people, very curious. Uh, and that was the best thing that um, I saw during these 18 months the um, interest, uh, uh, people prepared to really open up to innovation even if it, it's not in their hands today but with the curiosity and the positive approach that I was not expecting. This is not a standalone uh, or one-man band uh, play. There's no operator that can actually deliver or win or uh, get it right by uh, themselves. Uh, so you have to work in partnerships. And this opened a completely new uh, round of partnerships, a new way of working. It's gonna be real, it has to be real collaboration, co-developing, co-creating the services with completely different business models. What we know now and who we are now are not enough. We have to get new skills, new competences. We, we have to pre be prepared and implement right now for what the future will need that is ai is cloud is digital and we have to bring all those competences on board right now if we want to do it the challenge is to translate transform those uh, trials into actual products in production with the uh, service assurance end-to-end. Uh, -end. Uh, we're doing it through uh, prioritization. So out of uh, those 41 uh, use cases we have identified those that required less of the ecosystem readiness so it can go to market uh, faster but also that are closest to our heart or DNA from uh, uh, selling propositions and developing propositions so we start from there we get it right on the first priority and then expand it.